I want to talk about the thing you probably didn't do today. And I call it practicing your story. Some of the things I talk about here on this channel are what you could call techniques. It's about setting boundaries. It's about how do you commit to making start times how do you show up for yourself what's the best approach what are the best strategies right but i wrote in my book on procrastination the importance of the story that you tell yourself and you know i talk a lot about procrastination but this principle this idea of focusing on the story that you tell yourself is so helpful for that but it's helpful for every area of life it's to consciously bring awareness to what is the story I'm telling myself. And the reason I say you probably didn't do it today is because it is so, so easy to think that it's not important. And to go straight into the behavioral changes, straight into the modifications, straight into the strategies, straight into the techniques. But the story is so, so important. The story... Is something you already have you already have a story about your life some of our stories are not happy stories some of them are not useful stories so what we start to do is we start to first of all recognize the importance of the story that we tell ourselves and then we get to work on it and the best way I know to do that is to because we already have a story we write down the current story that we have so that could be, I'm always procrastinating, I'm so lazy, I'm not getting anything done, none of my goals ever materialize, things are so hard, I'm so lazy, there's something wrong with me, why is this difficult? That's the story. Now you, you try to keep that story, and then you go and do the techniques that I talk about, or anything else, it won't work. It might work temporarily, but that story, it's like it's got a gravitational pull to it and it'll bring us back. Our behavior will fall into line with what that story is ultimately. So this is another tool, a really important one, and this is about what is the story that you're telling yourself. The story that I, I kind of give a template for what a kind of a story could look like for someone who's suffering with procrastination in that book and it's more about everything is easy for me I find this super easy there is no obligation on me I am deeply committed to non-negotiable guilt-free play and that is my secret that is why I'm so productive everything happens easily I'm making huge progress every time I show up for myself I make huge progress this needs to be practiced this needs to be focused on. There are other things too we can add to the story technique, like Byron Katie's inquiry process, which is about removing those old negative beliefs or, or stories. Because that's really all the story is, is a sequence of beliefs. But you know, once once you find the truth, true inquiry, or just true looking at the opposite of the current story you already have, what it requires then is focus. So to continue to bring attention to it. And to be honest, it's one of the reasons I tell people not to take on too much. Because if you're taking on too much, there's not going to be an awful lot of time for you to come back periodically in your day to practice the story. Especially at the beginning is what you want, repetition. And you want to do it as many times as you possibly can, at least twice a day, maybe, right? For like 15 minutes, and you're just practicing the story. You're not necessarily trying to convince yourself that it's true. What you're just trying to do at the beginning is to focus your attention. Because the old story had all the focus and the attention before. And in the beginning it can feel a little bit difficult to do it. But through repetition you'll start to see evidence for it. Because that's all beliefs are. Is, is they, Well, what they do is a belief looks in your world and looks outside your through your eyes and it looks for evidence to support itself. All beliefs want to survive. And they do, they, the oxygen for beliefs is evidence. So if I believe something, I will find evidence for it externally. 
and if it's an old core belief it's a well rehearsed one i'm going to see evidence for it every time i leave the house or even when i don't leave the house so through this repetition just focus on what it is that i really want what do i want my experiences to be over time it makes a world of difference and without it nothing changes the techniques don't work without the story the, the first half of my book is all about the importance of beliefs and story the second half is techniques and the techniques work but they don't work nearly as well without the work on the story that we tell ourselves now this applies to procrastination it applies to everything it can apply to any goal anything that you want in your life anything that you're currently frustrated with so you can write a story about everything in your life and you keep focusing on it you can edit the story you can revisit it you can the main thing is you just keep practicing it keep focusing on it really you could say you could describe the story as a philosophy i'm trying to integrate right you want to be surrounded by it you want to be seeing it often you want to be in contact with it as often as you can so this is just a short reminder okay procrastination personal productivity it could be your health it could be your relationships what is it that you want to experience and what is the story you're telling yourself mainly it's the character in the story is you right and there's a story about the character in the story what kind of a character they are that's a big part of this process is who am i who do i see? i am am i lazy am i a screw up or can we change that that's the most profound thing if you can start to change how you see yourself within the story your experiences will change i can promise you that's true and there's two ways it'll change primarily and first and foremost is emotionally it'll change your experiences emotionally will change almost instantaneously when you start doing this and through the those those the focus on this new story and the experience of these new emotions it's already manifesting itself emotionally at that point then it'll start to manifest much more easily in your behavior so i'm not the first person to say this obviously right many people have said this the importance of the story you tell yourself i think baron katie would she would she said uh, who are you without your story it's not a bad place to start who am i without this old story i've been telling myself for such a long time once you drop that story you can tell a different one one that you want and isn't that true i mean how often do we actually wake up and say i think i'm going to tell myself that i'm lazy all day long the truth is it's actually not even your story you probably just inherited it from somebody and you've been carrying it since then finding all sorts of evidence to support it and there's there is there's mountains of evidence to support it because that's how beliefs work it's like a hard drive of evidence to support that core belief but who are you without that story who are you with a new story and you start focusing on it long enough you will start to see evidence to support it so just a quick video today if you're feeling bad if you're not feeling motivated if you're feeling like the techniques are a bit of a struggle for you just invest a little bit of time working on this story just changing the story you write it down somewhere have a file somewhere or a piece of paper or a, a, a notebook or something and you just keep writing the story out you can edit it you can but as long as you're focusing on it it will be a huge huge help I promise you that hope that's useful thank you as always for watching and if you found this useful hit the like button or share it with somebody you think it might help that would be very very helpful for me also appreciate it guys Take care and I'll see you again soon.